Hi, my name is Wasi Amir, and this video is going out to the MLSE Foundation. Today, I'm here to talk about how the MLSE has benefited our community in a, pro in a positive manner. So, I have lived in this community for about five years, and I would be certain and I'm sure to, that, to say that if I didn't live in this community, I wouldn't be such a big fan of basketball or any other sports for that matter. So I'm gonna talk about my own experience first. So I joined uh, the Go Green Youth Center when I was 10 years old. And, you know, I used to go there every Saturday, every Monday, every Tuesday, whenever I could to play basketball, to meet my friends, to play cricket because there was finally a place that I could do that at. There's finally a, a place that was big enough for all of us. There's finally a place that didn't charge us or you know made us pay something to play. I used to go there every Saturday and there was a guy at Go Green. His name was Michael Ma. He taught me a lot about basketball and I have a lot of respect for him. But you know, he couldn't have done that if he didn't have the space to play. We used, to use, we used to go there every Saturday. We used to go outside on the courts and play on the courts. I took my first shot there. I learned how to dribble there. I learned how to guard someone there. I learned basically everything that I know about basketball on those courts. All I can say is I have a lot of memories on those courts. And you know, it's not only about me. It's about my friends, it's about everyone else that has lived in this community. Everyone has played there once in a while. It's like every kid that has played basketball in this community knows the courts at the back of Valley Park Middle School. And we can only thank the MLSE Foundation for this. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity, the chance to prove ourselves, to play as much as we want to. You know, it's better that kids are playing rather than being on the street and doing something bad they're exceeding themselves they're gonna they're showing what they're good at and one day they can actually become something because there are a lot of people in this neighborhood who are going to a different path who are going through some problems and you know getting playing basketball playing any of those sports takes their minds off of all of this so thank you so much for that and even in the winter times when we can't play outside, we can't play on the courts, there's still space to play in the gym. For example, uh, when there's Mondays 6 to 10 basketball, a lot of people come because, you know, you can, you can play. They're, 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 they're doing something that you love. And we thank you for that. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to play wherever we want, whenever we want. And I can't thank you enough because if it wasn't for the MLSE Foundation, I wouldn't be where I am right now. This is how much I love basketball now because of you guys, because I was able to play. I was able to run as much as I like. There's a net here, there's a net back there. And I hope every other kid thinks the same. And I'm pretty sure they do. Thank you so much for making us or allowing us to play as much as we like. Um, and it's not only about playing. There were times such as the OVO events. There were times um, such as the Raptors tickets we got. Those were all because of the MLSE. You know, some people would have never thought they would even go into the Scotiabank Arena to watch a Raptors game, and but you guys would make that possible for them. You know, making like letting them have fun. It's not only about playing sports. It's about watching them to appreciating what you're playing and I thank you guys so much for that thank you so much for keeping this community together as a family as one whole because I don't think I think if it wasn't for the MLSE we we wouldn't be together we wouldn't be playing as much and you know there are so many people that go green every Saturday every Monday every Wednesday whenever they have ball I used to go there I'm gonna go there again but you know there's people there there's people there every every time I go there and it's just crazy to see how much Go Green has evolved because of the MLSE foundations. Um uh the only thing I would say was uh at the back courts of Valley Park, you know, the rims are kinda of breaking down a little bit. 
they're becoming rusty. Just need to like fix those, get them back into shape so the people can come back and play more. Uh, uh, MLSE also, I think they donated, they donated to our to the Go Green Youth Center in 2015. So all of our equipment stayed in shape. All of us, you know, kept going. And I still remember the 2015 summer, we had such a good time. There was enough equipment for everyone to like go around. We were there playing <clears throat> from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. You know, we could, we could do that because of the MLC Foundation and I thank you guys so much for that. If it wasn't for you guys at that time, I don't think we would have had a summer camp back then. And I still remember <clears throat> how, much, how much I loved basketball back then and I still do because I got to play basketball every single day. So thank you guys so much. All I have to say is, if it wasn't for you guys, a lot of kids wouldn't be what they are right now, playing what they're playing right now. So thank you guys so much.